Hi, my name is Heath and welcome back to my shop. In today's episode, yes, that's right, another hybrid blank. I have a small piece of stabilized maple burl. You can see there's some leftover colorant. Uh, it's actually a little bit of resin. Use a dental, pin, uh, dental pick and also a toothbrush to clean up the surface. I use the Alumalite uh, Ocean Blue dye with cactus juice to stabilize this piece of wood. Let's take a look at the color. Again, remember I used a blue dye. And hopefully the camera will pick it up, but that's more of a green. Which brings me to this. If, if you're interested in coloring or using a dye with uh, wood, you may... Uh, of course want to take into consideration the natural color of the wood. This is what it looked like prior to stabilizing and of course this is what it looks like afterwards. This will uh, definitely affect the end result. I suggest a color chart or maybe a color wheel. That may help. The plan with this is to create a blank that measures uh, 2 by 2 squared and approximately 6 inches in length. I would like to be able to make a small uh, weed pot or bud vase. I think that would look nice. Uh, interesting thing about today's project, not only did I use the Illumilite Ocean Blue dye to color the wood, we will also be using this same dye with the Illumilite Clear Resin. Um, I'm shooting for something similar to this, translucent. So we'll just use a small amount of the ocean blue dye with part A. And one last thing I'd like to mention before we mix the resin. Corrugated plastic. I'm using this as uh, for material to create uh, molds. I picked this uh, sheet of this up at Home Depot for $16 to $18. I found out the hard way. This, of course, uh, is the mold we'll be using in today's project. Corrugated plastic, you'll notice, notice the difference there, which is not an issue. This works great. Unfortunately, the bottle stopper blank that I created and uploaded a video of, I found that uh, I probably should have used a release agent. This corrugated plastic was a pain in the butt to remove from that small blank. It took me 15-20 minutes to be honest with you. On the other hand, this corrugated plastic, for whatever reason, I did not use a release agent. So needless to say, I have a can of release agent on its way to the shop. And that way, in the future, that's one less thing I need to worry about. Next up, I'll have the uh, part A and part B resin. We will add the ocean blue dye and uh, see if we can come up with a, with a nice little blank to make a bud vase. We have everything set up. I've measured part A and part B of Illumilite clear resin. Let's add the ocean blue dye again. Just a small amount. Something about like that, basically. Mix that into a part A. And a little bit goes a long way. Place these in the pressure pot at approximately 55 pounds of pressure and uh, I will pull this out in about probably an hour or two and we'll take a look at it. So it's been 90 minutes. I just pulled these two pieces out of the pressure pot. You'll probably notice some surface bubbles here. That's okay. We could sand those out or of course in this case I plan on using this piece and chucking it up on the lathe. 
and also this small piece this was the excess resin from this pour and uh, needless to say uh, I think I mixed just a little too much uh, off camera I added just a little bit of the Illumilite white dye to this and uh, mixed it up I think I made a mistake though because I added too much dye and you'll understand here shortly I think I could still probably use this piece but there you go that right there would be the glue from the glue gun in the center and of course the globs of Illumilite white dye dropped around the bottom of the wood and of course if I had just added a very little pinch of the white dye I guarantee you I would have avoided that but I think I could I could still clean that up and do something with that again it was excess resin so normally my excess resin just a couple examples I don't know if I'll use them for ribbon material or something similar uh, Zach Higgins uh, talks about the uh, ribbon how he creates ribbon to uh, incorporate in his blanks really neat idea get over there and check out Zach's channel he's got some really cool stuff out be a little harder to get this piece off of here so there you have it again corrugated plastic don't do what I do we will succeed right mold release mold release don't be such a cheapskate Heath just purchased mold release can't even get here quick enough. There you go, finally. That's trash. We won't be using that again. Um, it's of course the glue. I think some of the corrugated plastic seems to have leached a little bit. And the, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but uh, if you could see up next to the live edge there, the burl, that shimmer, I think that's the, some of the leftover cactus juice, stabilizing resin. So that's that. Uh, another blank. Uh, I think uh, I'll chuck this up on the lathe and see if I can turn a small uh, bud vase or a weed pot. I think that's what it's called. So back at the lathe, again, negative rake scraper, got a nice sharp edge on that, really works Works great with the uh, turning the resin, you can see my worm screw down in there. Toss on my face shield.
we have a finished bud vase or weed pot simple uh, simple shape just to give you an idea some of the things you can do with the of course resin and wood overall I think I'm happy with the piece uh, the color from the burl and the resin seem to suit one another so I'd like to take a quick moment to thank all of my subscribers uh, I appreciate your support and uh, I did want to mention I had a gentleman post a question about if I were to use translucent dye could you see the natural edge and to answer your question absolutely I think you could see that there really really neat effect I'll continue to work on uh, additional video content uh, until next time have a wonderful weekend it's a holiday weekend here in the United States Labor Day on Monday if you have the day off I hope you enjoy it if not I apologize and enjoy what you have left of the day until next time take care